Howdy gang, welcome to your 13th JavaScript and the DOM tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to change styles and classes using JavaScript. Okay then, so in the last tutorial I showed you how we can hook up the functionality of this form whereby we enter a value into this input field, click add and it gets added to the books to read list. And we're doing this by creating an element on the fly then injecting it into the DOM right here. But it doesn't look quite right just yet. It's not looking the same as these things over here. And that's because we don't have any class names associated with these span tags. Whereas in the rest of them we do. A class of name for the top and a class of delete for the bottom one. So we need to figure out a way in this tutorial to add those classes to these elements. And I'm also going to show you how we can change the style of certain elements on your web page on the fly in JavaScript. So over in the console, first of all, you'll notice I've already grabbed a reference to this li tag at the bottom using document dot query selector, then li last child. And this li looks something like that at the minute. So first of all, how do we apply styles on the fly to different web elements in our page? Well, first of all, we need a reference to that element, which we already have li. So we say li then dot style property. Then we can say dot whatever CSS style you want to apply to it, for example color and we're going to set that equal to red so if i click enter oops i didn't add on the end quotation if i click enter then these are now going to be styled as red and if we take a look in the elements panel we can see now it's got this style property associated with it cool so say for example i want to add on some kind of double barrel style for example margin top well let's do that i'll delete the color bit and i'll say margin hyphen top now margin hyphen top is how it looks in css However, in JavaScript, we can't use these things right here when it comes to styles. And that's because this is essentially in JavaScript a minus sign. So we need to remove that and then change the next letter to a capital. Now we can apply that rule. We'll set that equal to 60 pixels. And now we have that margin right here as well. So if we take a look in the elements, we can also see that margin top has been applied. Cool. So that's how we apply styles on the fly in CSS. Now I want to show you how we can retrieve classes and add classes. So first of all, how do we get the class name of an element? Well, whatever element we want, we type that first. Then we say class name. And right now it doesn't have a class, which is why we're getting an empty string back. But we can apply a class to this. I could say li.class name is equal to something. So I'll just say test. Click enter. And now if we have a look in the elements panel, we're going to see this class of test right here applied to the li. And now if I say li.class name is test. Okay. So now what if we wanted to add another class? Let me just clear this so we've got a bit of room. So if I say li.class name and then equal something else, let's say, I don't know, um, test2. Now then, if we take a look over here, you can see we have the class of test2, but it's deleted the class of test. So this isn't the best way of adding new classes. Now let's just try something here. I'm going to say class name plus equals test3 to see what this does. And if we click enter, then it's all going to become just one class. There's no space in between them. Now, I suppose what we could do is this test four, click enter. And now we can see we have those two classes right here. And if we try and style test four, then it will work. Let me just come down here and say test four. And I'll say background is going to be black. And this works. So this is fine, this way of doing it. However, I don't really like this way of doing it because sometimes you forget the spaces and I don't think it's the best way of doing it generally. But I'm going to show you another way we can add and remove classes. But to do that, I'm going to jump over to the console. So I'm just going to refresh this for now, get back to the original state, and I'm going to jump back to the text editor. And what I want to do is add and remove classes, right? So to do that, I could say the element that I want, then dot class list, then dot add or dot remove, and then the name of the class. So let's add the classes down here. We'll say add classes. And then underneath, I'm going to say book name dot class list. And if we just logged this to the console, that's going to get the whole class list for this element. However, we don't want to do that. We want to add a class to this. 
and the class I want to add is called name. All right. Now I want to do the same for the other one. So it's not book name, it's delete button dot class list dot add. And then we can type in the name delete for this. Okay, so now that is going to add the class of name to this element and the class of delete to this element. Then we're going to append those to the document. All right. So if we click save now and check this out over here, let's enter some kind of book. And now we get the correct styling for these. And that's because if we inspect it, we now have those classes of, of name and delete on these span tags. Okay, cool. So we can easily just remove classes by saying things like remove instead. Now we don't want to remove them. We want to add them. So I'm just going to keep that as add. So there we go, my friends. That's how we change styles on the fly. And that's how we access class names and add and remove them as well.